What's happening? Uh, it's been a while yeah. since we've been together in a video, but um, we've got a lot of upgrades, a lot of room upgrades. Saw this bad boy in the last video. Yeah. Um, Jamie just got this from Always Evolving Pythons. Yep. Um, unboxing should be up by yep. now. Yeah, you'll see it. Uh, if you haven't, go watch it. I'll put a link in the description. The new Cypress Mojave. Oh, yeah. Beautiful I'm obsessed girl. with her. Thanks to Miguel, always bowling pythons. He really yeah. hooked us up on this girl. Well, you all, everyone on our channel has heard of him, though. Mm -hmm. um, Probably uh, almost all of our followers are from him. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Miguel. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the shout out. Um, good, good yeah, we got a lot of plans for her ahead. Um, of course, we want to get. It's a uh, Kodam jeans, so we want to get anything we can get out of her. Banana, Cypress, Mojave. Cypress is called Codominant? I thought it was Codominant. Or Dominant, I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, we want to get anything with her. Uh, start putting some recesses into her and get her own heads. So, she is beautiful. Um, all of our females should be ready. A couple of them at least, actually. Probably a four or five. Should be ready this upcoming year. We also this just fall? checked our... Oh yeah, this fall, sorry. Mm -hmm. We just checked our uh, Super Pastel Big Girl, and we found... Uh, her follicles in her are about the size of grapes. She's ovulating. So, yeah, yeah. We should have eggs here within a month or so. Yeah, I was uh, a little afraid that she might have been infertile. Yeah. Because so, yeah, she's... Blocking her. Her okay, hatch date was like 2015, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, and she was sold to the breeder I got her from. From another breeder as a breeder. But that breeder Could never it? bred it. Yeah. I'm guessing he bred it and couldn't get it out. Because it took us a couple times to pack pastel. Well, they locked a ton of times. So. Uh, yeah, I'll put a shot of it. They, they've locked about 10 times yeah. now. They're in there now. I thought they would lock last night because it was storming, but they didn't lock. But yeah, her follicles are growing huge. And she took, what, how many ASFs on one day? So she took like four, four in a row. row. Yeah. But she's ready. She's definitely building. They weren't massive though, so I don't think I'm like power feeding no. on how full. She's huge too, she's what, 23? She was years? already big, yeah. Uh, they told me she was pushing 3,000 when, and then when I got her, 800 grams had disappeared overnight right. for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, she's doing great with us, and we're happy she's beautiful. She's a sweetheart, she's not head shy at all, you can boop her nose like she's a dog. Um, I'm gonna go snake play with too, because I don't get to come here as often as Jamie. Yeah. This is Jamie's house. Yeah. Although there's only 20 snakes in this room, I have about 100 rats. Um, and I don't know, 100 ASF. This is a full time job. It's, it's rough. I'm in here all day. And the reason it's a full time job, I mean, I could make it more efficient. The reason it's a full time job is I have two children. Uh, you might have met them in the last video, um, but I, one, he's three, he's just diagnosed with autism about four months ago, and uh, I really need to dedicate a large portion of my life to that, because uh, uh, he's three now, we're trying to instill good habits, but that's what this is all about, this whole thing, this is our legacy, it's for our family, so mm -hmm. this is uh, going to become a family vlog uh, here real soon. Uh, family reptile vlog. Mm -hmm. So I truly believe that to get rid of the stigma that 
this that our society has of reptiles and snakes, we need to teach our children. We need to teach them young. Mm -hmm. um, so the the fear of snakes has gone on way too long. Like everyone is scared of snakes. When you tell someone you like snakes, you guys know this. And they watch the video. Yeah, like yeah. why? Ew, what do you do with that? Yeah. Same thing you do with your dog. We you have to sit and we chill with them. Yeah. As if they're not jumping up on you, scratching, scratching you. you. Inviting strangers. And not, yep, getting. Well, they could bite strangers, yeah. but. Not getting hair all sound. over everywhere. You don't have to tag them, make sure they run away. They can yeah. live like 40, 50 years if you take care of them good. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. And that's why you guys are watching this. But what I want to ask you guys is what do you think about snake feeding? Do you want to see it? We leave, or we do you want to just. Do you guys want to see a live feeding? It. Or. Is that inhumane to you? We'll put it up if a lot of you guys want to see it. There's a lot of them on YouTube, but we don't want to scare away anybody that gets uncomfortable with that because we do feed live. And it, mm -hmm. it is a part of nature, but a lot of people prefer feeding um, frozen thawed, but we it's more efficient for us to feed live. And I think it's a little more morbid <laughs> to keep a freezer full of, of dead grass that you killed. Yeah, and it, it's all a matter of perspective, I mm -hmm. guess. But, um, if pro most of our viewers believe that <coughs> they don't, if they don't want to see it. They'd rather, you know, out of sight, out of mind. We won't put that in there. But that's just. It all depends on you guys. It's content, mm -hmm. you know, that we can either share or you know keep to ourselves. But I, um, I enjoy. I don't enjoy seeing an animal die, but I enjoy seeing how magnificent hunters these are, yeah. and how efficient they are at striking. And yeah. They actually are very, what's the word I'm trying to use? They kill their food very fast. Oh yeah. And uh, it's not like if you actually see a wolf, like eat a moose or a deer, that's a way worse death than these guys get. I would fried. compare, if we're gonna compare like uh, gruesome deaths in the reptile hobby, I would compare it to maybe a black throat. Oh yeah. Um, Two minutes ago. Or an, really Asian water monitors, they're, Any monitor. they're, well they're efficient, they kill it, but I, Black throats are some of the most vicious killers I've ever seen because they like to sit there and play with it and like throw it around and like, like a and they don't always kill it. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know, I've witnessed too many. My tegu still is just chilling under her rock, just like not eating. Um, trying to give her dog food the other day. Oh, that's another thing. Our next video, oh, this that might be separate because, um, I'm gonna make this a weekly thing. It might even be twice a week now. I'm gonna do a reptile room tour soon. Uh, I have a tegu, two iguanas, like a million crested geckos, <laughs> like 13 maybe crested geckos. My reptile room tour. I'm building probably one of the most magnificent iguana cages you will ever see. Magnificent. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It's not gonna. It's it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I had another one that was good. Um, it was the first time I've ever built anything, and I'm not a carpenter, um, but I've learned some things since then. Uh, and I have a bunch of materials that I plan on using. They're outside right now. The iguanas are, and they need to come in. It's 80, 90 degrees here. So yeah, probably. it's, you know, by the end of August, they'll need to be inside. We will be at um, NARBC, Tinley in October. Mm. If you guys want to say hi, uh, maybe just comment down below. Tell us who you are and we'll try and yeah. look out for Message you. Message us. Keep, keep in contact with us. We'll have we're going to put a video up while we're there of where we're going and stuff. I'm sure on our way, we'll put up a video. And uh, we're just going for one day, probably going for a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, now that I'm not working, we can go to the other shows. Yep, and yeah, we can go to Indy too. We might end up going to Midwest uh, Reptile Show. We missed the All Animal Reptile Show in Ohio. That was last weekend, or two weekends ago. But yeah, uh, if you guys are going to any of the ones local to us, let us know. We'll, meet you. we'll try and meet you there and say hi to you guys. Um, we like going to a lot of reptile shows. Um, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio areas. It was wonderful pretty much. Head up. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to Brian's uh, Reptarium when he opens. Oh yeah, we'll be one of the first um, ones. We'll go there and wait in line. Yeah, I'll probably buy the season pass. We've always wanted to go see prehistoric pets in California and see Jay out there, but that's a little far away for us. Mm -hmm. 
and him and Jay are really good friends, so he's going to have pretty much what Jay's doing on, on our side of the country, so it's going to be amazing. You guys should go check it out, too. Well, we were in his vlog, um, the last show, in March. Jay's. Um, yeah. A million vlogs ago. If our vlog gets big enough, I'll travel to all, you know, I'll, I'll go crash uh, JK, JKR's party and say, what jeans you got over here? Let me have some. We're here for a tour. Give me some of your red stripe. <laughs> Do a little like uh, skit. Yeah, skit. I want to start doing skits too. Yeah, that'd be fun. My the unboxing was a little skit. If you guys watch, well, I was, really wasn't acting. I was pretty frustrated. Uh, but I made light of it, you know. Uh, she got here. She's alive. She's healthy. She ate the next day. Um, she's not stressed out whatsoever. Um, so I made light of it, you know. I wouldn't have posted that unboxing if tragedy had struck. Well, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say, oh yeah, uh, we have a clutch brewing. Uh, we were talking about that. We yeah. just uh, we'll we'll be doing a give giveaway with what it, it's not. It's not gonna be anything crazy, you know. But it, it, it's gonna be a giveaway, like we- Pewters, we, we'll have a bunch of pewters in there no matter what. Yeah, uh, black, it'll be black pewter, uh, so it'll be black pastel, uh, pastel. Hopefully, pewter, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll probably get some normals too, we'll see. Well, your yellow bellies in there too. Oh, yellow bellies, we might not get any normals in there too. Well, we'll um, always get pastel, we have a super pastel, so they'll all be pastel. Oh, they'll all be pastel, so we will definitely be doing a giveaway, because uh, we uh, really like Everyone who comments on our videos, everyone who likes them, uh, we see that you. we love that. Yeah, we, we see, see you guys. we know who you are, you know. Uh, Josh, Crystal, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a bad memory, but a lot of breeders yeah. are talking on there. We really appreciate you guys, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we can't, we won't announce when the giveaway is yet because we don't have any, don't yeah, count your we, chickens we, for the hatch. We're not entirely sure, but. but our first clutch, we will give away one or two of the babies, I'm sure. Yep, yep. So, Maybe look out for that. Two. I don't know. <laughs> well, who knows? Get. She was 2200. She's yeah, she's, she's massive, huge. so she might give us a 12 egg clutch. Who knows? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, stay tuned for that, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.